Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another continuing episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 10, Part 2. We finish off with Exercise 2 here. I just wanted to show you where we left off in the previous video. Now we're on to Example 3. Okay, it says, in a complete sentence, describe the angle relationships in the diagram. Okay, so here it is. Angle, GKE. So as I've done before, and I'll continue doing till we get the hang of this. Angle, GKE. Just follow the letters. There's angle, GKE. Angle, E, K, F. It's a green angle. Angle G K F. Okay. Our angles at a point and their measures have a sum of 360 degrees. So now it says write an equation for the angle relationship shown in the figure and solve for x. Find the measurement of angle EKF. So EKF is this angle x. Confirm your answer by measuring the angles with a protractor. Okay, so here it goes. So the equation's going to be a measure of angle G K. That's angle G K E plus. I'm color coding like what I did in the diagram. The measure of angle EKF plus the measure of the angle GKF or FKG, either way you say it. We said GKF up here, so let's keep it GKF. The measure of angle GKF equals. 360 degrees. Okay, so now we are going to substitute in our givens. GKE has this little square there, so I know the measure angle GKE is 90 degrees. Plus, the measure of angle EKF is the unknown. I'm going to call that X degrees. Plus, the measure of angle GKF is 135 degrees. And those all equal 360. Okay? So I like to name it. Gives us good practice with how to name angles. Substitute in the given information. And then simplify and solve the algebraic equation. So we have like terms here. 90 degrees, 135 degrees, and X is our unknown. So I'm going to write X degrees plus, and the sum of 90 and 135 is 225 degrees, and they equal 360 degrees. So if we do PEMDAS in reverse, we do the inverse of addition, which is subtraction. We subtract 225 degrees from both sides, and that is going to cancel these out here, leaving us with just X on the left equal to 6 minus, okay, I'm going to borrow from there, 10 minus 5 is 5, 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 minus 2 is 1, and I found the measure of angle EKF, which is what the question asks for. Solve for X, X is 135, so therefore the measurement of angle EKF is 135 degrees. So to answer that question, you should say the measure of angle E, K, F equals 135. Okay. Okay, on. Exercise 3. In a complete sentence, describe the angle relationship in this time. Okay. So it says angle E, A, H. I'm going to do the same thing here. E, A, that's bad. Angle E, A, H is this big angle right here. Okay. 
and then angle G-A-H. G-A-H is right here. Angle G-A-F. Angle G-A-F is right here. And then finally, angle F. I'm drawing these off a little bit so you can see them. So we have a red angle, a green angle, a blue angle, and a purple angle. And they're an angle at a point, and their measure is 360 degrees. So now it says find the measure of angle G A H. So G A H is right here, and it's being represented as X plus 1. So I am now going to start with adding everything up. I'm going to give a, an expression using the angle names. So angle EAH, so the measure of angle EAH plus the measure of angle GAH plus the measure of angle GAF plus the measure of angle FAE equals 360 degrees since they are angles at a point. Okay, now I'm going to substitute in my given information. Angle EAH is 167 degrees. Okay, the measure of angle GAH is X plus 1 degrees. Plus the measure angle GAF is 59 degrees. Plus the measure of angle FAE is 103 degrees. And they all add up to 360 degrees. Okay, so now I'm going to combine like terms. 167. I, I'm going to do it over here vertically, it's easier. 59 and 103. If I add this and this and this, they're like terms, but don't forget this one here. So I should also have one at x plus one. So I, that would leave the x by itself. Plus one plus seven is eight, and nine is 17, and three is 20. Carry the two. Six plus two is eight, plus five is 13. 13, carry the one. So we're at 330 degrees. So something plus 330 equals 360. So we're going to get rid of that 330 from both sides. And that leaves X on the left and 0, 3, and that's it. X equals 3. Okay. So I found X here, but you always need to be careful with these geometry questions. We did not answer the question when solving for x. It did not say find x. It said find the measurement of angle GAH. Now I'm going to answer the question. The measure of angle GAH equals, and I look up here, GAH is right here, x plus 1. So the measure of angle GAH equals my x, which is 30 plus 1. And that is the measure of angle GAH finally, 31 degrees. So that is my answer. Do not stop at finding X. Always go back and read the question once you find the missing variable, and then make sure you've answered it. Okay, example four. The following two lines intersect. The ratio of the measurement of the obtuse angle to the acute angle in any adjacent angle pair in this figure is 2 to 1. In a complete sentence, describe the angle relationships in the diagram. Okay, so we would say the measurement of an obtuse angle is twice the measurement of an acute angle in the diagram. Okay, so that's what that 2 to 1 ratio means. 2 to 1. The obtuse to acute is 2 to 1. And obtuse is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. And acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. So I mark these with two marks. Let me use different colors. But I still will use the one or two marks. So I'm going to mark acute with one arc. 
And when I mark these like this, these are congruent measurements. So it tells the reader that this angle and this angle here are congruent. And then if I go over to the other side, and I'm going to use green and I'm going to use two marks, and then I use two marks over here, that tells the reader that this angle and this angle are congruent. Okay, erase more. Okay, so if the ratio of obtuse to acute is 2 to 1, that means this is 2x and this is 1x. And therefore, this is also x because they're congruent, and this is 2x. Okay, so now we've got this set up here. And we also have, so it says, label the diagram with expressions that describe the relationship. Write an equation that models the angle relationship and solve for x. Find the measures of the acute and obtuse angles. So this is uh, angles at a point. So the, an, a full circle is 360 degrees. So just starting here and going around clockwise so we don't miss anything. I'm going to say 2x plus x plus 2x plus x equals 360. Okay, 2x plus x plus 2x plus x. Combine like terms, 2x plus x is 3x, plus 2x is 5x, plus 1x is 6x. 6x equals 360 degrees. Okay, that was simplifying or combining like terms. We have multiplication here. We're solving an equation, so we do PEMDAS backwards and we do the inverse. So multiplication's inverse is division. So if I divide the left by 6, I have to divide the right by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times x is simply x. And 36 divided by 6 is 6, and we carry the 0, so 360 divided by 6 is 60. So x is 60 degrees. So find the measures of the acute and obtuse angles. Okay, so this is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, and 2 times that is 120 degrees. And let me erase that check. So 2 times x, or 2 times 60, I'll just show my work, 2 times 60 equals 120 degrees, and so therefore this is also 120 degrees. And if I add them up, 120 plus 60 is 180, 180 plus 120 is 300, 300 plus 60 is 360. Always check your work, see if it comes out to be true. Exercise 4, the ratio of the measure of angle GFH, G F H is that red angle. And uh, it's the ratio of that angle to the measure angle E F H. So here's E F H. So they're com com comparing these two angles. That's what a ratio is, a comparison of two things. Comparing one angle to the other. Okay, this is the green one. And this is the red one. It's two to three. So they wrote 2x and they wrote 3x. So they did a little bit of work for us there. It says to describe the angle relationships in the diagram. Okay, so the measure of angle GFH is two-thirds the measurement of the whole thing, EFH. Or EFG, I mean. Let me read that again. The measurement of angle GFH, GFH, is two-thirds the measurement of angle E. The measurement of angle G, F, H, and E, F, H have a sum of 90 degrees. Find the measure of angle G, F, H, and angle E, F, H. So what I would do is say the measure of angle G, F, H plus the measure of angle E, F, H. H equals 90 degrees. Now I substitute in GFH. GFH is 2x. Okay. Plus the measure of angle EFH, which is 3x, equals 90 degrees. Combine like terms 2x plus 3x. Okay, sorry about that. Either
Okay, so here we go. 2x plus 3x is 5x equals 90 degrees. Divide both sides by 5. And x equals 5 goes into 9 once. The remainder 4. 5 goes into 48 times. x equals 18. Just because I get x equals 18 does not mean I am done. Answer the question. Find the measures of these two angles. So the measure of angle G F H equals 2x. So therefore the measure of angle G F H equals 2 times the x I found, which was 18. And I finally finish up with the measure of angle G F H equal to 36 degrees. The measure of angle E F H equals 3x. Therefore the measure of angle E F H h equals 3 times my x, which is 18, and the measure of angle e, f, h equals 54 degrees. 36 plus 54, it is indeed 100 degrees. Okay? So the relevant vocabulary in this lesson was adjacent angles, vertical angles, angles on a line, and angles at a point. Review those and learn them. Let's see, end of lesson 10. Hope your problems.